recently had a question from someone that wanted to know how important is fasting for my fatty liver? Well, the answer is extremely important, if not the most important thing you can do for a fatty liver. When I was in practice, I sent five of my patients who had very large bellies to the radiologist for an ultrasound to see if they had a fatty liver. And sure enough, five out of five had a fatty liver. So one way to know if your liver is fatty is just by looking down at your stomach. If you have a stomach, chances are you have a fatty liver. Of course, you can go in and get a biopsy or better yet, an ultrasound to really find out for sure. But over 50% of the population in the US have a fatty liver. And the majority of it is not related to alcohol. So when the liver becomes filled with fat, you can't cram any more fat into the liver, it spills off into areas around and inside the organs. And this is exactly why people start developing a gut. Okay, so this is the mechanism right here. If you have a gut, that means your liver is spilling off extra fat into the belly. So what's really behind a fatty liver is this thing right here, okay? Or things that turn into sugar pretty quickly, like refined carbohydrates, breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, things like that. Now, when someone consumes beet sugar or table sugar, they're really consuming roughly about half of it in the form of glucose and half in the form of fructose. Now, it's interesting when you look up fructose, it says that it doesn't spike your blood sugars, it doesn't activate insulin. I wanna discuss that because there's a lot of confusion on that. If you have sugar that has a 50-50 split, and let's say, for example, your weight is 190 pounds, you have 190 pounds of cells that can deal with and metabolize glucose. But as far as fructose goes, you only have the liver. And if your liver weighs about three pounds, your poor liver is then stuck metabolizing the lion's share or 100% of this fructose. So in other words, when you consume glucose, your whole body can deal with it. When you consume fructose, the liver is stuck with that work. And indirectly, your insulin is going to spike. You're gonna develop insulin resistance and there's gonna be a lot of conversion into triglycerides, cholesterol, fat in the liver. So the effects on the liver with fructose are very similar to the effects of alcohol. And then of course you have the high fructose corn syrup, which is not necessarily all fructose. It's like roughly 50% fructose and the rest glucose. But this high fructose corn syrup is from corn and it is basically gonna convert into fat pretty quickly. And this, which basically puts a lot of stress on the liver, uh, not to mention that, that it's a GMO product from corn, so it has glyphosate, is going to definitely create issues on different levels for your liver. And then you have the fruit juice, right? Which a lot of people don't realize that you're getting a lot of fructose from that. And then agava, which is like 90% fructose. So all this sugar, and especially fructose, is causing a fatty liver. In America, 10% of an average person's calories is from fructose. That comes out to 44 pounds of fructose every single year, or about 20 kilograms for those people in Europe. So the absolute best way to handle a fatty liver is to reverse the flow because when you're consuming sugar, you're stimulating insulin and you're also stimulating insulin indirectly once the fructose is metabolized in a different pathway, which I'm not gonna get into now. But all you need to know is that insulin is triggered and insulin is an energy storage hormone. So all we have to do is we have to reverse the flow. We have to do the opposite. We have to fast, okay? That will release the energy from your liver. Now, as far as fasting goes, you wanna work up to about 20 hours of fasting. So maybe you're eating two meals that are separated about four hours, yet you're fasting for 20 hours. That will give you a very good therapy for your liver. And then maybe even go one meal a day. So you're fasting for 23 hours. This would be even better. Now, if you are serious about doing this and you do have a lot of weight to lose, what I would do if I were you is follow the video that I have down below and I would ride the wave and go as long as possible while you're taking supplements and nutrition and things like that.
to take advantage of the momentum that you can create when you fast. In other words, when you're doing fasting for a couple of weeks and, and you start to really get into ketosis, it becomes easier and easier to fast. Your hunger goes away. And the rule of thumb is don't eat unless you're hungry. And let's say, for example, you can fast for 48 hours. Well, great, then do that. Uh, make sure you're doing your nutrition. And I put a link down below how to do this correctly. But the point is that the more fasting you do, the faster you can get this fat off the liver. Your body will use this fat as fuel. Once this fat is gone, then the body will start tapping into fat around the organs in the gut. So you'll start seeing more and more change in your belly. So in other words, if your belly is not shrinking fast enough, realize your body is probably working on getting rid of this fat first. You don't see it, but it's happening on the inside. The other thing you could do to speed things up is to take choline. Choline is a nutrient that speeds up the removal of fat off of your liver. You can get it in a powder. Uh, if you're taking choline, I would also recommend also taking all of the B vitamins in the form of nutritional yeast because choline is a type of B vitamin. And if you take choline by itself, you could create some imbalances. So take all the B vitamins. It's going to help your liver. Also do a good amount of exercise. That will speed it up as well. Um, and then purified bowel salts are very, very important to help decongest the gallbladder and the liver and bile salts break down fat. If someone's even deficient in bile salts, they could end up with more fat accumulating in the liver as well. So these are some things that you would definitely want to take in consideration. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, watch the entire video on how to do fasting healthily. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.